Centro. Shoddy with NFL Network now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Two days after losing their starting quarterback for the season, the Cardinals will also be without their general manager indefinitely. The team announced Steve Kime will take a leave of absence for health-related issues. Elsewhere, with a Saturday showdown looming in Cleveland, the Ravens got some good and bad news on the quarterback front. While Lamar Jackson remained sidelined from practice with a knee injury, backup Tyler Huntley was able to practice in full for the first time this week after suffering a concussion. Steelers rookie quarterback Kenny Pickett remains in concussion protocol, but he was able to practice in a limited role Wednesday. While Denver's Russell Wilson did not practice after suffering a concussion in Sunday's loss to the Chiefs. And Zach Wilson is getting closer to game action in New York. After being inactive for the Jets the past three games, the team announced the former second overall pick will be the number two quarterback this Sunday. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Did you hear about Taco Bell's apology? Yeah, they apologized for going too far with their breakfast. Like the naked egg taco and chicken biscuit nachos? It was too much. All you need in the morning is tasty, simple food. Like the breakfast crunch wrap. Fluffy eggs, melty cheese, sausage, crispy hash browns, wrapped in a warm tortilla. Or as some call it, a breakfast crunch thing. Grab one today, only at Taco Bell. At participating U.S. Taco Bell stores during breakfast hours only until 11 a.m. Plus supplies last. Contact local store for hours and participation, which vary. You're the one who protects the flock, and that requires an eye for detail. Because when safety and well-being are on the line, it's the details that can save lives. Even when no one else is watching, you see everything. Granger gets you, and we're here for you. And all the ones who get it done with a wide range of safety products and solutions, plus board-certified safety consultants here to answer your questions. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. And it is a, uh, what, Thursday already? Oh, my. Thursday. It's the 15th day of December, 2022. I'm Carol in the newsroom. It's Gene. Good morning, Gene. Good morning, Carol. I see you have your uh, your toasty uh, boots and uh, gloves and, uh, uh, you know, Arctic parka on. Yeah, my gloves, uh, all insulated and, yeah. you know, ready. Okay, um, we've got uh, a, a special treat. As you know, Santa has been here in the afternoons. Hanging from out. Four till six. He's going to be back tonight, or this afternoon, and again tomorrow. But um, here's, uh, here, here's an idea uh, of what Santa did yesterday. KXO AM 1230 has made special arrangements with Santa Claus for Imperial Valley kids to talk directly with him. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Kids of all ages can call 760-352-2029. Are you calling to talk to Santa? It's really Santa Claus. Come on. And talk directly with that jolly old elf at the North Pole. Can I talk to his brother Kevin? Hey. Come on, Santa movie here. Santa Claus. Santa will be available from 4 to 6 p.m. Tuesday through Friday. So you got to be a good boy, and Santa will do everything he can to get you your special gifts, okay? Yes. All righty. Just call 760-352-2029. Well, I'm here, and I'm listening. And visit with St. Nick, brought to you by Premier Golf Cars of Yuma. <laughs> Okay, people, Santa's coming in Hello, it's me. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, my God. Merry Christmas to you. Ho, ho, ho. Ah. Merry Christmas. Oh, I hear more than one person. Three? That's wonderful. So who wants to go first to tell Santa what you would like for Christmas? Brooklyn. Brooklyn? So, Brooklyn, what would you like for Christmas? I want arts and crafts. Um, Anything else? Makeup. Oh, makeup? Are you old enough to have makeup? Yes. Did you ask your parents? Yes. Okay, I'll put it on my list, but make sure that you put it on your Christmas list so that you can give that to your mom and dad, okay? And who else is coming up next? Who's with you? Say your name. Kinsley. Hi, how are you, Kinsley? Yes. Good. What would you like for Christmas? I want Christmas, um, makeup, Barbie gloves, and she said she wants squishmallows, makeup, Barbie clothes, and Barbie. 
a Barbie. Oh, you know what? Barbies are cool because you can get clothes for them and a little house and a little car. You can get so much stuff. I even I want, I want new shoes. New shoes. Ah, oh, the, the new shoes are always fun to get. Is there anything else on your list, Kinsley? I, I forgot about it. You forgot? <laughs> well, Kinsley, don't think about it for a little bit and make I sure. And, too. You, say that again. Clothes. Oh, clothes? Oh, yes. I want some dollies. Some dollies? Okay. That sounds like a good idea, too. And, Kinsley, who else, uh, who else is with you that wants to tell me what they want for Christmas presents? Madeline. Oh, Madeline. How, Ma hi, Madeline. How are you? Good. Good, Madeline. What would you like for your Christmas gifts? Um, I want marshmallows. I want makeup. Oh, you I want, want makeup want... too? Yeah. Now, don't forget. Check with mom to make sure it's okay. Okay. Mom, can I get makeup? Um, she said sure, and to tell you that my birthday's on Christmas Eve. Oh, how special. Now, make sure. Now, here's what my rule is. Santa's rule is, if you have a birthday close to Christmas, you still have to have a birthday party. That's Santa's rule. Okay? Is that a deal? Yes. All right. That's Santa. I know him. I know him, too. Uh, how about some birthdays real quick, and then we've got news. Uh, after that, it's a hard, uh, hard show to follow. Yes. Okay. We have happy birthday wishes going out today to Alva Aaron, Cindy Worthington, Carolyn Moreno, Teresa Wheatley, Nacho Figueroa, Valerie Gurul, Art Navarro, Maribel Carbajal, Ben Tool. Connie Rodriguez, Brian Alexander, Christian Campos, Pastor Bob Arnold, Dottie Franco, Richie Torres, George Moreno, Art Jaime, Becky Torrazas Baxter, Carmen Picasso, Garrett Fankhauser, Mallory Nice, Maria Ofelio Gonzalez, and Rosie Valadez. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay. Happy, 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 happy. Yes. And, of course, uh, Santa will be here again 4 till 6 this afternoon and 4 till 6 tomorrow afternoon. And uh, it's a hoot. Uh, it, it's a great way and a safe way to, uh, you know, visit with Santa. And it's uh, obviously for kids of all ages, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I have makeup on my uh, list. Yeah, you as well. have. That's a popular thing this year. So. I suppose. And you know what it's like to have a birthday around Christmas, right? Yeah. Hey, Merry Christmas and happy birthday. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I've, especially for kids, uh, you know, yeah, keep, the, you keep them separate. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Are you ready for news? We've got news. Okay, it's a look at World in California news headlines to begin with, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock, they are your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News Brief. All major indices down more than 2% after the government reported retail sales off 0.6%, the sharpest drop in almost a year. Bank rates Mark Hamrick. There were notable sales pullbacks for department stores as well as retailers selling furniture and building supplies with home sales having declined over the course of this year. The Dow is down 692 points. CDC has unveiled newly adjusted BMI charts to account for skyrocketing obesity rates in kids. CBS's Dr. David Agus. Now that there are actual treatments that work, for obesity, it is critically important that we can uh, quantify these things and have charts to know what direction the children are going in. The cleanup begins after days of rare December tornadoes in parts of the South, including New Orleans. When I first heard the, like, you know, shatters from the windows and stuff, I got scared. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez.
Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 76093 L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news in Fresno. The brother of a pregnant woman stabbed to death and set on fire. Now arrested and charged with Ankaya Rebecca Logan's murder. Police Chief Paco Balderamas, who's Aaron Dudley, was trying to clean up the evidence. How to dispose of the body. Uh, ran when uh, the police came to knock on the door to see what was going on. So this this is not somebody who does not know what he's what he's doing. Family members say Logan was eight months pregnant. Police saying Dudley stabbed her multiple times, put her body in a trash can, and set it on fire. State Health Department marking two years since the COVID vaccine became available here, noting the progress has been made, but that we can't let our guard down. During this winter holiday season, it's critical that members of our family get vaccinated. And if you haven't already, get the updated booster as well. State epidemiologist Dr. Erica Pan, the state reparations task force determining that descendants of former slaves living in the U.S. before 1900 can receive compensation for lost property, devalued black businesses, and housing discrimination. Final report next July. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair, for replacement, call the experts Lock Air Conditioning. And custom sheet metal. Music memories sponsored by Boot Barn. Country star Brandy Carlisle remembers how excited she was when the supergroup High Woman was first formed. Over the course of, you know, several months to a year, the idea unfolded and took shape, and we started talking about how to include other women and um, how to make it into less of a less of a band and more of a movement. Boot Barn celebrates the values of honesty, hard work, ingenuity, and perseverance, proudly offering a piece of the American spirit. Boot Barn. Keep west. This winter, spread joy, not germs. As soon as you feel symptoms, test it, treat it, you can beat it. COVID medications like the Paxlovid pill can help you test negative sooner. Call a healthcare provider or the statewide COVID hotline at 833-422-4255 to find free treatment today. Again, that's 833-422-4255. Four two five five. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. And it's page one of the local news. Page one of the service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers, three locations in the valley. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Thursday morning, discussions uh, are underway on drought solutions. George Gale filed this story. The drought on the Colorado River does not appear to be ending anytime soon. Stakeholders are currently meeting to try and find a plan that would allow Colorado River water users to live and using less water. Baja California has already experienced a major reduction in their Colorado River water allotment. Recent government officials, recently government officials in Baja announced plans. Uh, the uh, plan, one uh, plan uh, includes the uh, construction of uh, three or four seawater desalination plans. Uh, they would, uh, uh, they intend to spend over $210 million or around 4 billion pesos on the projects. Projects uh, would begin that construction would begin next year. Uh, they have released no other information on the projects. They also plan to, uh, on the rehabilitation of wastewater treatment plants, improvement of all water distribution networks, and major maintenance on the Tijuana Aqueduct. Not many details on any of the proposed projects have been released. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Christmas parades, well, they're not done yet. The next parade will be, are you ready? Mark it down, Saturday. It'll be another Parade of Lights. It is part of Calipatria's Christmas in the Dark. Calipat's holiday celebration comes one week before Christmas weekend.
Christmas in the tar, uh, Dark is being held Saturday at Rademacher Park uh, starting at 4 in the afternoon. The parade starts at 5. The event runs until 10 along with the parade. Features of food and crafts, vendors, um, market stalls, games, toy giveaways, and much more. The community is encouraged to come out and celebrate the holidays this Saturday in Calipatria. KXO News Time, 743. How about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for Real Central Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs. And it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at lcentralmotors.net. El Central Motors mobile service vans. What a great idea. Well, the City Council of El Centro got reorganized. Here's more on that story. The reorganization will be held this evening. It's scheduled for tonight. Uh, yeah, Martha Carvinis Singh is expected to be appointed mayor for the city, the new mayor. The uh, current mayor, uh, Ta Tomas Oliva, who was uh, re-elected in November and newly elected Sonia Carter will take the oath of office to begin their terms as city council members. The event will be held in the El Centro City Council Chambers and Courtyard beginning at 5 p.m. A reception will immediately follow the ceremony. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. County uh, Sheriff's uh, Office uh, promotes four. The ceremony was held uh, late uh, last week. Friends, family, and fellow law enforcement personnel attended the ceremony. Also in attendance was uh, Chairman of the County Board of Supervisors, Jesus Eduardo Escobar. During the ceremony, Julio Hurtado was promoted to Sheriff Sergeant. Damian Martinez was also promoted to Sheriff Sergeant. Amanda Torres was promoted to Correctional Sergeant. Miguel Lizarraga was promoted to Correct Correctional Corporal. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the uh, local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations in the Valley at El Centro Motors in the Brawley Auto Center and at the Imperial Valley Mall. Play at Cocopa Casino and Resort in December and see if you are naughty or nice. <laughs> One winner every half hour has a chance to take home up to $3,500 in rewards play or cold hard cash. Drawings are every Thursday and Saturday from 4 to 9 p.m. through December 29th. Earn entries daily by playing your favorite slots or table games with your rewards card. See the rewards club for details. We love our loyals at Cocopa Casino, South Highway 95 in Somerton. Hey, Two of the local news and the weather brought to you this morning by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Well, there's no lack of holiday cheer in Imperial Valley, as you've heard in the news this morning, uh, and it still continues. George Gale explains. Holiday events continue tonight. It's a Christmas in the park in Hodeville. There'll be food and craft vendors, holiday music performed by the Hodeville Middle School and High School School Band and Chorus. Starts at 5.30 this evening, runs until 8.30 p.m. Santa will arrive at 6 p.m. It's presented by the Hodeville Chamber of Commerce. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. Calexico Police Department's annual event uh, is Kids and Badges. It'll be held uh, this Friday. It starts at 8 a.m. at Denny's Restaurant in Calexico. The children will be treated to a hearty breakfast before traveling to the Ashley Outlets uh, parking lot to greet Santa, take pictures, and then go on a shopping spree at the Calexico Walmart. Kids will also receive a goodie bag from Camarina Memorial library. Well, it's one day closure and it's uh, coming up. Here's more on that story. It is closed today. The one day closure will be from until today. It's closed right now and will continue until 4 p.m. Forrester Road will be closed from Imler Road to Keystone. Closure is to repair damaged bridge, uh, bridge railing. Motorists are asked to find an alternate route. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. 
Camarina Memorial Library Christmas tree event will be held uh, today from 5 till 6.30 p.m. You can enjoy the tree, even take a picture with Santa. And the tree, uh, as well, you can enjoy storytelling. Uh, you can take uh, crafts to go. The first 150 children will receive a gift. The library is located at 850 Encinas Avenue. There is more information at calexicolibrary.org. Keep in mind, there will be no public restrooms available. And how does Santa get around so much this time of year? Well, he's got a nitro turbocharged sleigh. That figures. And that works. Yeah, I guess. We'll be back with a look at the weather. Not just at Christmas, not just when it's convenient, not just when you remember. All year long, Imperial Valley Food Bank is feeding the hungry because hunger is a year-round problem. Help the Imperial Valley Food Bank be the solution. Visit ivfoodbank.org. Be part of the solution. And here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. The National Weather Service says a brief reprieve from widespread freezing temperatures expected for tonight before another round of widespread freezing temperatures Friday night. A slight warming trend is in store for early next week with near normal temperatures by Tuesday. 65 the high yesterday, 34 the overnight low. Today, increasing clouds with a high near 63. Light wind becoming north-northwest about 5 miles an hour this afternoon. Partly cloudy tonight with a low around 46. Northwest wind about 5 miles an hour becoming north-northeast in the evening. Friday, mostly cloudy, then gradually becoming sunny. Look for a high near 64. West-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming north in the afternoon. Mostly sunny on Saturday with a high near 61. Northwest wind about 5 miles an hour. Sunday, sunny with a high near 64. North wind about 5 miles an hour. And right now we have 42 degrees, 52% relative humidity, wind out of the west, 3 to 5 miles an hour. Page 2 of the local news presented by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Put a little love in your heart. It's the Ford Shine Bright sales event, and Ford is helping you be a light for others this holiday season. Now get 1.9% APR for 60 months on a 2022 Ford F-150, Explorer, and Escape. Come in and choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is arriving daily so you can drive one home for the holidays. Hurry in to your San Diego County Ford dealers today and find the Ford vehicle that helps you shine bright all season long. Not all buyers will qualify for Ford Credit Financing. 1.9% APR financing for 60 months at $17.48 per month for $1,000 financed regardless of down payment. Not available on Raptors, Super Crew Tremor, and Super Crew Lightning. Residency restrictions apply. Take new retail delivery from an authorized Ford dealer stock by 1323. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. And the World Cup continues. Yes. Uh, Saturday, it's the consolation match, Croatia and Morocco. And then on Sunday, Argentina and France for the championship. Okay. Uh, NBA action last night. It was uh, 141-134. Pistons beat the Hornets in overtime. Pacers topped the Warriors 125-119. Magic mauled the Hawks 135-124. Kings slipped by the Raptors 124-123. Knicks topped the Bulls 128-120 in overtime. Heat hammered the Thunder 110-108. Trailblazers topped the Spurs 128-112. Cavaliers clubbed the Mavericks 105-90. 
Nuggets bombed the Wizards 141-128. Clippers topped the Timberwolves 99-88. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and of course our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all of Pioneer Services, visit pmhd.org today. Well, let's turn our attention to small ball. Right-hander Noah Syndergaard and the Los Angeles Dodgers have reached agreement on a one-year contract. The uh, 30-year-old Syndergaard hopes to be the latest pitcher to find a mid-career renaissance with the team well-known for extracting the best from talented arms. Syndergaard expected to join a Dodger rotation that includes All-Stars Julio Urias, Clayton Kershaw, and Tony Gonsolin. Meanwhile, the Milwaukee Brewers have acquired infielder Owen Miller from the Cleveland Guardians for a player to be named and cash. Uh, The Brewers made room on their 40-man roster by designated catcher, designating catcher Mario Feliciano for assignment. And first baseman Matt Adams returned to the Washington Nationals uh, via a minor league contract with an invitation to spring training after being out of baseball since July of 2021. The 34-year-old Adams has a 258 batting average with 118 home runs across 10 seasons with four clubs. Oh, UCLA is officially heading to the Big Ten after receiving approval from the University of California Regents yesterday. But the approval does come with some stipulations. Yes, as part of the board's decisions, UCLA will have to increase its expected investment in student-athlete resources and might have to provide a subsidy to the University of California, Berkeley, in the range of $2 million to $10 million once a Pac-12 media deal is secured. Don't forget Thursday night football free. Yeah, the 49ers, the Seahawks, 4.30 this afternoon on AM 1230. That's it for Sports Time. Sports Time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. The clock is ticking. Time is running out. Christmas will be here before you know it. So how do you beat that Christmas crunch? Head to the Peanut Patch in Yuma. The Peanut Patch. You can visit them in Yuma or find them on the web thepeanutpatch.com. The Peanut Patch. They make their very own fresh English toffee. Their pecan turtles made from scratch with a special recipe. You'll love their yogurt covered peanuts, raisins and almonds and so much more. Great gifts that they will ship anywhere in the universe. The Peanut Patch in Yuma. You can find them on the web thepeanutpatch.com. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Elon Musk has sold another 22 million Tesla shares for $3.6 billion. Musk sold the shares Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this week. The sales disclosed in an SEC filing. Musk did not disclose the reason for the sales in the filing. They're his first sales of Tesla stock since early November. Before Musk first started his efforts to buy Twitter, he rarely sold Tesla shares. Typically, his sales were tied to what he needed to sell to pay taxes he owed on the exercise of options poor guy he's going broke yeah yeah oh well anyway uh, the senate has passed legislation that uh, will ban tiktok from u.s government devices the move marks the lawmakers latest step against the short form video app 
that has become popular with over a billion users worldwide. U.S. officials fear that TikTok user data could end up in the hands of uh, the Chinese. Uh, well, it's owned by a Chinese company and the government controls that company. A companion bill introduced in the House last year by Colorado Republican Representative Ken Buck has yet to be approved by members of the House Oversight Committee. Taking a look at Wall Street, big red numbers. The Dow off 717 points at 33,249. The S&P 500 down 90 at 3,905. The NASDAQ off 296 points at 10,874. Gold down $30.60 an ounce. Oil off 42 cents. A barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here in Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. P.O. Box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970-4500. We will have increasing clouds today. Look for a high temperature near 63. Light winds becoming north-northwest about 5 miles an hour this afternoon. Cloudy tonight with a low around 46. Northwest wind about 5 miles an hour becoming north-northeast. Friday mostly cloudy, then gradually becoming sunny. Look for a high near 64. West-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming north in the afternoon. We're sitting at 43 degrees, 51% relative humidity, wind out of the west at 3 to 5 miles an hour. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil, in El Centro. At Burgers and Beer, Christmas is one of the most important times of the year for us. It's a time for us to stop and give thanks for our blessings and celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Let the spirit of love gently fill our hearts and homes. In this loveliest of seasons, may you find many reasons for happiness. Wishing you and your family health, happiness, peace, and prosperity this holiday season and in the coming new year. From your Burgers and Beer family. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro on AM 1230. KXO. This is CBS News on the... I'm Steve Kaif and three men being sentenced right now in Michigan for their role in the foiled plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. One of them is Pete Musico who spoke before he was sentenced to at least 12 years in prison. I had a lapse in judgment. I've been a good citizen. I've, I've been a family man. I've taken care of my family for a very long time. His son-in-law, Joe Morrison, sentenced to at least nine years in prison. Lawyers for the three insist they cut ties with the others before the plot took shape. Powers out to thousands of homes and businesses in parts of Louisiana that were damaged by a string of tornadoes over the last few days. The roof came off Mary Kenny's home in St. Charles Parish. Everything was gone and everything was falling on us. We just held on to each other and prayed. At least three... Three deaths are blamed on the tornadoes. Snow that buried much of the upper plains is now rolling into the east. Inflation has a lot of folks thinking twice about what they're buying. I have to really look and decide whether I can afford them or not. And the latest report from the government may be bearing that out. Retail sales fell from October to November. The Commerce Department's latest snapshot of retail sales came in weaker than expected and marking the worst month of this year. That's a big disconnect from the kind of showing retailers would be hoping for during this, the most important shopping season of the year. Mark Hamrick of Bankrate.com says sales fell at furniture, electronics, and home and garden stores. As obesity rises among children, the CDC is expanding charts that doctors use to track kids' growth and development to include a higher body mass index. CBS's Dr. David Agus. It used to be that the BMI, the body mass index, stopped at 37, and now it goes all the way to 60 um, for children aged 2 through 19. It really reflects 
a change in the U.S. population such that four and a half million people, about 6% of children, are severely obese, and that wasn't counted. Well, CBS's Cammy McCormick has more on the government's wintertime COVID-19 strategy. The Biden administration is again making free COVID tests available. You can order those, it says, through covidtest.gov starting today. Personnel and equipment are being put on standby should hospitals become overwhelmed in the weeks and months ahead. And the numbers are expected to go higher over the upcoming holidays as more Americans gather together and spend time indoors. Outgoing Massachusetts Governor Republican Charlie Baker has just been named the next president of the NCAA. Wall Street right now, the Dow is down 674 points. This is CBS News. Presented by Rocket Mortgage. Whether you're looking to purchase a new home or refinance yours, Rocket Mortgage can help you get there. For home loan solutions that fit your life, Rocket can. Hey, I'm Andy. If you don't know me, it's probably because I'm not famous. But I did start a men's grooming company called Harry's. The idea for Harry's came out of a frustrating experience I had buying razor blades. Most brands were overpriced, overdesigned, and out of touch. At Harry's, our approach is simple. Here's our secret. We make sharp, durable blades and sell them at honest prices for as low as $2 each. We care about quality so much that we do some crazy things, like buy a world-class German blade factory. Obsessing over every detail means we're confident in offering a 100% quality guarantee. Millions of guys have already made the switch to Harry's, so thank you if you're one of them. And if you're not, we hope you give us a try with this special offer. Get a Harry starter set with a five-blade razor, weighted handle, shave gel, and a travel cover. All for just three bucks, plus free shipping. Just go to harrys.com and enter code FLEXIBLE at checkout. That's harrys.com, code FLEXIBLE. Enjoy. But wait, there's more from the royal couple that rules Netflix. I wasn't being thrown to the wolves. I was being fed to the wolves. The final episodes, four, five, and six of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's docuseries were released this morning. Claims made... The palace supplied negative stories to the media to spare other members of the royal family. And Meghan Markle suffered a miscarriage as a direct result of press intrusion into their lives. One segment details a shouting match between Princess Harry and William as the Queen looked on quietly during an emergency summit on the couple's decision to exit. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Philanthropist Mackenzie Scott says her donations have yielded more than $14 billion in funding for 1,600 nonprofits since 2019. She's introducing an open call process letting nonprofits send info to her to consider donations. Steve Kathan, CBS News. Who's the hot show around here? Carol Buckley. Hi, I am. Where are you? Carol Buckley. You broadcast me out on the radio. 